Are you looking to add a new canine into your home, but you have no idea which small canine companion is the most ideal for you and your family? Well, in today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the differences between the Maltese and the French Bulldog to see if they could be the perfect fit for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Maltese Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's jump into today's video where we'll be comparing these two small iconic breeds. Let's take a brief look at the history of the Maltese. They're one of the oldest breeds around whose ancestors can be traced back to 600 BC. Unsurprisingly, with the name Maltese, it is believed they originated in Malta. Known as the Comforter or Roman Ladies Dog, this lovable little dog was a favourite amongst ladies of importance. They were not just companion dogs, they were put to work as well. Sailors used Maltese dogs to keep rats and rodents away from the ship's food supplies, and they were also used as a bartering tool for sailors to buy food whilst away at sea or docked in foreign lands. They first made their way to the United Kingdom in the 15th century. It was at the same time they became a firm favourite of the rich and nobles in France. They became extremely popular amongst British royalty and nobility towards the end of the 16th century, with Elizabeth I, Mary Queen of Scots and Queen Victoria said to have been fans of the Maltese. The breed was nearly destroyed in the 17th and 18th century when attempts were made to make the breed the size of a squirrel. This experiment was disastrous with, and resulted with breeders having to mix several different breeds in an attempt to save it. The Maltese that we know today was developed and fine-tuned in the UK. They were first imported to the United States in the late 19th century, but they've really become popular since the 1950s, and they're now one of the most popular breeds amongst spectators at dog shows. The French Bulldog is a breed adored by many, but did you know they aren't actually from France? The breed originates from England. The French Bulldog is the ancestor of the Molossian Dog. Unfortunately, this breed is now extinct. To create the French Bulldog we know and love today, English Bulldogs were bred with ratters and terriers. This became known as the Toy Bulldog. The Toy Bulldog became very popular amongst the lace makers in Nottingham. They were so well loved the Toy Bulldog was selected to become the lace makers official mascot. During the Industrial Revolution in England, the lace makers began to feel like their trade was being threatened, so they decided to relocate to France with their canine companions and continued to make lace. The Toy Bulldog instantly became a popular breed to own for everyone, and they soon became a favourite for French aristocrats. The Toy Bulldog's name was changed to Bulldog Francais, which was later translated in English into the French Bulldog. The Maltese is a small dog with a regal appearance. Maltese dogs have long feathered ears that hang close to their head, they have a broad muzzle and short straight legs. Their tail curls upwards over their backs, which adds to their regal appearance. They have a long, straight, pure white coat that falls all the way to the floor. They did once come in, in a range of colours, however these no longer exist, and white is the colour available. However, lemon coloured markings are accepted by the Kennel Club. They are a preferred breed for any allergy sufferers as they have a hypoallergenic coat. They do not have an undercoat, so they shed very little. Being a long-haired breed, they do require daily grooming, so make sure you have time to dedicate to this task, or you could end up with a severely tangled coat filled with dirt and debris. They're one of the smallest breeds around, standing at a height of 10 inches or 24 centimetres at the withers, and weighing up to 8 pounds or 4 kilograms. Hey guys, just a really quick message to ask you, are you on TikTok? And if you are on TikTok, I think you'd really enjoy coming and checking out our Fenrir page over on TikTok. There'll be a link in the description box below. Don't worry, you're not going to see me dancing, but I promise you there's tons of extremely valuable, helpful content of me working with dogs and providing as much information and helpful, valuable tips and tricks along the way to help you become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you are interested, I can't wait to see you over on TikTok but in the meantime, I'll let you get back to the video you were watching. The French Bulldog is a small yet muscular breed. They grow up to 12 inches tall, which is around 31 centimetres. Males can weigh up to 28 pounds, approximately 12 kilograms, and females are slightly lighter, around 24 pounds, which is 11 kilograms. 
French Bulldogs still have the same wrinkles and folds as their English Bulldog counterparts. They sit low to the ground, have short backs and a deep broad chest. French Bulldogs have a small but strong legs with their back legs being slightly longer than their front legs. They have a smooth coat that can come in a variety of different colours including both light and dark brindle, fawn, brindle and white, fawn and white and pied which is white with patches in the colour of any of the recognised colours. Originally, two different types of ears were accepted in the French Bulldog. The erect bat-like ears, which we know on the breed today, and a rose ear that is similar to the ears on the English Bulldog. Both ear shapes are still bred today, but the erect ears is still the most common type of ear seen. The Maltese is a sweet-natured breed that just wants to please its owners. This makes training in obedience and manners quite easy, especially with the calm, consistent training. However, Maltese dogs are notoriously difficult to toilet train. I would advise you take your new Maltese puppy out to the toilet every half an hour during the day, also straight after they've had a play session, eaten or drank anything. Their nature and love towards their owners causes this breed to suffer from separation anxiety too. It is important that you teach a Maltese straight away that it's okay to be alone sometimes and that you will always return back home after you leave the house. If separation anxiety is not dealt with, it can lead to unwanted behaviours such as chewing, barking and toileting in the house. This small breed doesn't require a large amount of exercise, making them perfect for people who don't have a lot of time to spend going for walks or who struggle to get out. 30 minutes of exercise a day should be more than enough. You can also try getting them involved in dog sports like agility, obedience and tracking as they excel in sports like these. Maltese dogs are also known to be very vocal. This does make them a good watchdog. You should teach a Maltese when is the right time to bark, for example alerting you to someone at the door or to intruders. They should not be left to bark whenever they want to as this can cause issues between you and your neighbourhood. The French Bulldog is a calm and loving dog that was bred for the purpose of becoming their companion dog. They're extremely loyal and affectionate towards their family. However, this can cause some issues as the breed is prone to suffering from separation anxiety. It's important that you teach your French Bulldog straight away that it's okay to be alone sometimes and that their owners will always return home. If separation anxiety is not dealt with, it can lead to unwanted behaviours such as chewing, barking, anxious pacing, toileting in the house and general destroying the house. French Bulldogs are patient dogs and love to please their owners which makes training usually an easy task. However, they can be stubborn sometimes so consistency is key when training this breed. Positive reinforcement, plenty of praise and treats and a calm consistent leadership is the best approach when training. Socialisation is also a must when getting your new French Bulldog puppy. This will ensure you end up with a calm, well-mannered and happy dog. You should try to socialise your dog to as many different people and situations that you can find. You can do this from day one of bringing your puppy home by carrying them around outside with you. Once your French Bulldog can go out for walks after all their vaccinations, they should get around 30 to 45 minutes of exercise daily. The Maltese generally get along fine with children and pets, especially when they've been properly socialised to the world around them. However, they can have issues. They will become particularly attached to one member of the household, especially if they've been overly pampered and spoiled. For this reason, it's a good idea to get all members of the family involved with their daily grooming routines to allow everyone to form a close bond with them. If they become too attached to one person, they can become overly protective and this can lead to unwanted behaviours like barking at and even biting anybody or things that they see as a threat. They are a small breed and can easily be harmed so it's essential that you teach your children how to handle and treat them properly. The French Bulldog is a very gentle and friendly breed that will soon become your children's best friend. They love to play games like fetch and hide and seek with children and have a similar energy level to them. However, they do have a prey drive and will have a tendency to chase smaller animals. It's not to say that when socialised properly and brought up alongside smaller animals like cats and rabbits, they can live together harmoniously. It's not advised that you ever leave your French Bulldog alone with young children or smaller pets as accidents can happen. Both the Maltese and the French Bulldog are small lovable breeds who make excellent canine companions. The French Bulldog is a slightly better choice for families with young children as the Maltese can get attached to only one person in the household if not properly socialised. Both have similar training requirements and are prone to separation anxiety, so it's important to think about how much time you can spend with either breed before you commit. 
If you decide one of these beautiful breeds is right for you, I'm sure they will be your perfect canine companion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Maltese videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Maltese Show.